I just want to say, I've been here, this is night seven that I've been out. Um, I've been out since last Tuesday. Um, and I've noticed uh, the anger died down a lot, um, at least the confrontational anger. Um, and I think that part of the reason is, is uh, the National Guard being here. I think they've been a lot more compassionate than the police have been. Um, a lot of them walking by just simply asking you how you're doing, have a good night. Um, the police on the first nights, I got uh, pepper sprayed in the face twice, tear gassed. Uh, I have marks on my back and my legs from rubber bullets. Um, uh, they didn't have that same compassion. And I think that's what everybody's done with. Um, and so I just want people to know that it's not that the National Guard here is showing more force that's causing people to calm down. It's the compassion that they're showing and the care for um, civilians. Um, and that's what I think we're all here for, for the police to get to that point. Yeah, I want to say uh, last night was uh, crazy with the amount of uh, people they had here. Initially, the, the protest group was maybe a couple or a few hundred people before the curfew. But at 10 o'clock, then folks started going home. And by 10.30... Well, I'm sorry, uh, 10, 10 o'clock at the curfew time. That's when the National Guard, they started filtering them. Uh, and the protest group went down to about 50 people. There was about 500 uh, just all encircling them, all in this area here, here last night. So, it, And I, I want to say at least 500. Yeah. So that was a 10 to 1 ratio last night to bring it. And they were literally holding hands and saying spirituals and saying no justice, no peace, you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And it just, there was no reason to do it other than to say, our boot's bigger than yours and we're going to put it on your neck if you don't comply. Yeah, and so you know? you'll see like they are showing some of that force at times, um, which I don't encourage at all. Um, I also find it interesting that in the last couple nights we've had hundreds of people arrested uh, for being out past 8 p.m. or 10 p.m., whatever the curfew is. Um, but we still have yet to arrest three motherfuckers yes. who yeah. murdered yeah. somebody. Gotta get I all four. I, I, or yeah, four, I guess. So I, I don't understand how, um, you know, our president and our governor can put in the force to, and our tax dollars to send these people to make sure that people aren't assembling, which is our First Amendment right, past 8 p.m., which I am not familiar with since the Jews in 1938 under the Nazis. I think this uh, curfew is just a way to shut us up. Um, I would agree. But, I would agree with that wholeheartedly. But they could have taken out three, the, the other, they could have arrested all four officers and they wouldn't be, they wouldn't be exerting all this. Yeah, and they, yeah. Try, they try and say with the excuse for the curfew so that we can get the looters and the people causing violence, but you could also disperse a lot of the peaceful protesters if you just arrested those four gentlemen um, and gave them what they deserve and gave us justice. So. Um, and especially George Floyd and his family. I can't imagine um, losing a loved one and then just having the murders of that loved one just walking around free. Yeah, I, I, would, I would even go so far as to say uh, just taking the knee. Uh, two nights ago, I saw it was the head National Guard guy who I think might actually be Army because I saw him in an arm, Army coat today. Sam Andrews is his name. He took a knee for a minute, but it, uh, then everyone said, well, get the other officers to say it. And he's like, nah, I can't do that. And it's like, dude, had you done that, it would have it would have just ramped everything down right away. I think everyone would have been cool for that night. Yeah. That's all it would take. Yeah. You I mean, know, we just I think people are just asking for compassion. You know, mm -hmm. um, we're uh, citizens and we're expected to um, remain calm and peaceful under non and non calm and peaceful uh, confrontation. So uh, it's a pretty big uh, burden to ask somebody to carry, especially all of America. Right on. Cool. Thanks a lot. Yes, sir. Um, if, if you wanted to say your name, I'll include it. If you don't, sure. that's cool uh, too. My name is Shane West. I'm born and raised in uh, St. Louis Park.